Welcome to Serenity Sounds and welcome to my newly redesigned studio. Apparently we are in it for the long haul, especially here in Massachusetts. Things have been getting better, but they are not great. So we are slowly reopening, um, but I think that this series will continue even beyond the reopening phase. This is something that I feel has been so beneficial. I've gotten some really great feedback and even when we achieve this new normal or whatever they're they're calling it, I think that we have a long road of recovery and it's best that we just do it together as a community. So I'm going to keep putting out these videos every week and I'll once in a while add a midweek bonus video. So if you like that idea and you want me to continue these videos, then drop a thumbs up or leave a comment below so I know because I'm making these videos for you. I very much enjoy creating them, but I want them to be worthwhile and of value for you. So today we're going to be doing an exercise in meaning. This is a mindfulness tactic where you find meaning and positive results that have come out of anything negative. So either a negative experience, thought, feeling, etc. And this is something that I talked about two weeks ago in our mental health discussion on coping with change and grief. So this was the fourth exercise that I discussed in that video. If you haven't seen that discussion, I'll drop a link in the description box below so you can go take a look at that. Now this exercise is very simple in its structure. We're going to think about the negative thoughts, feelings, and circumstances that we've experienced recently. And then we're going to sit with those and we're going to think about what positive results have come from them. And I know sometimes it's easy to just say, no, that was all bad, nothing good came of it. But open your mind and really be introspective with yourself and think about any instances that you've grown from any of these negative aspects. Because um, I always say, when we experience something negative or something traumatic, something stressful, in time, at the very least, we do grow stronger and we grow wiser from the negatives. And I know sometimes when you're in the thick of it, you can't really see that. So this is our time to really clear our minds and start to think, all right, this stuff that I've been going through really how has it made me a stronger person or how has it made me a more courageous person and that's the part that's a bit of a challenge so structurally it's an easy exercise but the challenge is really allowing yourself to sit with the negativity and then let it go and replace it with the positive result that has come out of it now what I've done is I created a template that I'm calling the Finding Meaning Handout. And it's set up so that in one column you'll be writing all of your negative thoughts, feelings, and experiences. And then across from it in the right column you will write whatever positives came from the negatives. So if you would like to use my template, I will leave a link for it in the description box below. Um, you will have to use your email address to access it. So if that's something that you're comfortable with and you want to use the template, it's there for you. If not, then you definitely don't have to. You can just simply take a piece of paper and you can write two columns and the left one is the negative and the right column is the positive. So totally up to you. And while you're filling out your handout, I'm going to hop on my harp and I'm going to provide you with some harp therapy probably for about 20 or 30 minutes or so just to help you really focus and ground yourself and tap into the emotional side of things so hopefully it will help to aid that um, that energy flow to help you fill out the handout I would love to know how you make out with this exercise so if you had any struggles or if it benefited you and you found value in it please leave a comment below and let me know I would love 
to make this more of a community oriented video series and I know that a lot of these videos are pre-recorded but I go on and I read every comment so please let me know how you're enjoying the videos how you're enjoying the exercises and also let me know if you have any ideas of what you want to see in upcoming videos because now that I'm going to be doing this for an indefinite number of weeks I want your input so please keep the lines of communication open and let me know what your thoughts are all right, so grab that handout template if you wish. The download link is below in the description box and I will grab my harp and I will help aid you in this exercise.
Thank you for tuning in. I hope that this music brought some peace and light as well as helped to aid in bringing positive energy into your thoughts and minds because that's what this exercise was all about. Like I said, I would love to know how this exercise went for you, if you gained any insights, if you felt better afterwards, or even if there were parts that you struggled with. Leave a comment below, let me know how it went. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so because I am releasing Serenity Sounds videos every Saturday and sometimes I throw in a midweek bonus video and sometimes I go live. If you noticed, uh, my name did change recently. So the YouTube channel is now Harp and Wellness. It used to be NEA Music. I have been changing some of my names online over to Harp and Wellness just to make sure that people know what the content is and that it's inclusive of everything that I'm offering. Thanks again. Stay safe and stay well, and I will see you next week.